Hey, it's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade For and welcome to my channel. Okay, so today I have a really cute, very simple, easy, quick, fast, patriotic DIY that I'm excited to share with you. And it's using these jars, kind of like the mason jar type thing from Dollar Tree. So I've got three of these. So we're gonna decorate these for like patriotic. And then afterwards, when I'm kind of done with it, I'm going to show you how I displayed it. So, okay, so I have three of these jars, like I said, Dollar Tree. I've got three strips of burlap ribbon. And then I have two of this red and white check wired ribbon. And then I have this one navy blue and white polka dot ribbon. And then I have one American flag. And I have some some flowers and I think these are begonias my goodness you think I would know my flowers but <laughs> so I'm gonna use these and then I'm gonna decorate with um, my mom's Scrabble and then one of my cute little ants from Hobby Lobby I love these these are so cute and fun to decorate with for the summer all right and I also got my hot glue gun so easy so cute all right all I'm going to do is, let me get all this out of the way, I am going to wrap, okay, all I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this burlap around the jar, put a little bit of hot glue, and just secure all the burlap, okay, so hot glue gun, just going to put a little bit on the back of this burlap, okay, just a little, don't really need a lot, just kind of one on, one on each end. And now all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wrap this around. Just be careful not to burn your stuff with the high glue. Okay, I just hot glue that on there. Okay, so that now is attached. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go ahead and do that to all of them. Okay, once again, just a little hot glue on the ends of each one of them. Don't really need a lot. Just wrap that around on there. Lightly push it on there so I don't burn myself. Okay. See? There's another one. Right. Last one with the burlap. Okay. Once again, I'm just going to wrap that on there. Look, that was so fast. <laughs> so, there's that. Alright. Alright. So I have all burlap on all three of them okay okay so I've got the hot gosh <laughs> okay so I've got the burlap hot glued onto each one of my jars okay so now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of my ribbons and I'm just gonna tie it on here all right so I'm gonna put this against the back side of it what I want to be the back and then I'm just gonna tie me a knot right. so just one little tie and then I'm going to tie one more. And I'm just going to pull it kind of tight. And I'm going to fluff my bow. Or it's not even a bow, it's a knot. <laughs> just going to fluff it a little bit. And just give it a little tight pull. Okay, so depending on how, like, how long you cut your ribbon is going to determine like, of course, how long your bow is. And there's the first one. Look how cute. Alright. I'm just gonna do it to to all of them. All right, so I got the one red. I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna leave this from the back. Okay, that is making a lot of noise on my counter, <laughs> which I don't care. But I don't know if you can hear all that. So I'm just gonna pick it up. All right. Once I got that tied, it's kind of pulled a little tight. And once again, I'm just gonna fluff out my the ribbon that I just did. Yeah, and you can use um, whatever ribbon you have at home. And the perfect thing about this is even after, you know, 4th of July, you can, you know, put any ribbon on here and some flowers. Okay, so once again, I have that one. Alright, now I'm going to take the blue one. Wrap that around the back of it. And I'm just going to knot it. That up once again because that sound is driving me nuts. 
Okay, and now I have the blue and white tat on here. Look how cute. So fast, so easy. Now, all you have to do is add any kind of flower that you want. Like I said, I'm going to use these. You could use daisies, you could use sunflowers, you could do baby's breath, or just some greenery. But I'm just going to stick these down in here. Stick me some flowers in each one. Okay, but do you see how easy and cute that is? Now all you can, and now all you have to do is just add you a little flag. And look how cute. So easy, so patriotic. I love it. <laughs> All right, now I am going to show you how and where I decorated with it. And like I said, I'm going to use my mom's Scrabble. Okay. Let's see. So first off, I am going... Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to spell out a word with my mom's Scrabble tiles. Okay. So I'm going to go with God bless. All right, let's decorate. Okay, so I don't know how many of you like decorate your window sills, but it's perfect because it's almost like a shell. So I've got like all of this space right here that's just blank. So I'm going to add a little pop of patriotic to my window sill in the kitchen. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the blue and white one. So this is like my stars. So I'm going to start over here. And I'm just going to kind of center it in the window pane. I'm going to put the one with the little flag right in the center. Once again, kind of center it in the window pane. And then my last one. Okay. And now I'm going to put the God Bless right here. Okay. And then my cute little ant from Hobby Lobby. This is in the spring section. But look how cute! <laughs> I love it! And it just really just adds, and it really just adds a lot to my window. Because if not, you just look out there and you just so much green. But I just, I love it. It's just that little extra pop. I love it. It's so cute, so easy. Okay, but you see just my window seal? It just adds so. It just adds so much to just a window. Oh, so cute. Like I said, after it's 4th of July, you could just change the ribbons and just, you know, leave your window still decorated. And I leave mine up until August. I love it. I love decorating for the holidays. It just adds so much, I think, warmth and personality to our home. Yeah, so cute. And look, and if you have Scrabble tiles, oh, I love it. And plus, to me, it's so sentimental because it was my mom's. So you will see Scrabble tiles in a lot of areas of our home. And my cute little aunt. Ooh. All right. There you go. Love it. Okay. I've had a wardrobe change. <laughs> I forgot to do an outro. Um, we took the kids fishing. So, yes, I love my window seal. Very patriotic, very cute. Um, I have so, a couple more patriotic DIYs this week, and then I want to share with you my mantle. I absolutely love my mantle this year. It's very, very patriotic, and I think very warm, and I'm just gonna share it with you. And then just a couple other little spots of the house. It's not gonna be like a whole home tour but just a few of the things that I've decorated for uh, the 4th of July. So, yeah. so if you're interested in any of that and, and you haven't yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button and then make sure you ring the bell and hit all. That way you're notified for all the videos that I post. But yeah, so I hope that you all have a great day and I will see y'all next time. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.